welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video we are going to see the derivation of undamped single degree of freedom system okay so we know that our general equation is mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to some external force pt okay so this is our uh, general equation for single degree of freedom system so today we are going to see a case of undamped free vibration this is the first basic case so here if you see undamped means our c is equal to 0 and free means the external force pt is equal to 0. So our equation that is general equation now reduces to mx double dot plus kx is equal to 0. Okay. Now if I tell you something more about this equation, first thing that this equation is of second order okay why because it has double derivative of x then this equation is linear because the coefficient of x and x double dot that is m and k are being constants and then another thing about this equation is that this equation is homogeneous because uh, suppose this is your left hand side and this is your right hand side then your right hand side is having constant or zero okay so it is second order linear homogeneous equation same you can uh, represent through spring mass damper model okay so there is no damping only spring is present then mass and single degree of freedom system hence only here x direction displacement and this is k and if you draw the free body diagram then it would be like mass here so kx and mx double dot okay and this is what we have derived here right so let's uh, go and uh, derive this equation i will write once again uh, our final equation that is mx double dot plus kx is equal to zero now here we will divide this equation by m okay we will divide this equation by m so what we get here m get cancelled so x double dot plus k by m x is equal to 0 now here we will do one substitution uh, that term is omega n square is equal to k by m at the end of this lecture i will tell you what is omega n square okay for time being you can uh, substitute it so our equation reduces to x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0 okay now solution for this type of equation is generally x is equal to a cos omega n p plus b sin omega n p okay so this is general solution for this type of equation so if you see in our equation there are two constant first one is the a and second one is the b now how to determine these constants a and b okay for that we need to utilize the initial conditions 
we need to utilize initial conditions now here i want to tell you practically that what do you mean by free vibration okay if you see without force how a body will vibrate right you can think about without force how body will vibrate so you can consider one example suppose uh, this is a scale which is fixed at the end now how will it vibrate without force so here the meaning of free vibration is here we can give some displacement okay here you can give some displacement initial displacement and then we will release it so what will happen then it it can vibrate okay it will go up and down up and down or we can do another thing uh, that will be considered as a free vibration is we can give the impact here okay or we can say some initial velocity because of that it will start vibrating okay so with this these are two practical cases of free vibration you can give displacement some displacement or you can give some velocity or impact or you can do both okay so let's come back to the equation once again our equation was x is equal to a cos omega n t plus b sin omega n t now as i told you we can use initial conditions we can use initial condition to find the value of a and b okay so you know the initial conditions let's say the displacement x at time t is equal to 0 means initially our x will be equal to x 0 also we can use another condition at t is equal to 0 our velocity will be some x 0 dot or you can say x not so i am assuming here that initially there is some displacement x not and some velocity x not dot okay now let's utilize these condition to find out the constant okay so this was our equation so here our x is x0 here a okay cos omega n at t is 0 plus b sin omega n t is 0 okay so this is our first condition we have used it now we know that we know that that sin 0 is 0 okay so this term will become 0 and we know that cos 0 is 1 so i can say x 0 is equal to a so here i have find the my first constant a as x 0 okay now once again i write the equation because it is useful x is equal to a cos omega n t plus b sin omega n t okay now our second uh, initial condition is our second initial condition is x dot is equal to x 0 dot at t is equal to 0 right now this equation is of displacement but this initial condition is related to the velocity so we need to derivate this equation okay so let's derivate it x derivation will be x dot is equal to here the derivation of cos omega n t will be minus omega n sin omega n t so i will write minus a omega n 
sin omega n t plus the derivation of sin omega n t is omega n cos omega n t. So b as it is omega n cos omega n t. Okay. Now, sorry, here I will, okay, this is okay. Now let's use this initial condition. Here x dot is x zero dot. So I will replace x zero dot is equal to here. If I put t is equal to zero, sine zero will be zero. So this term will become zero. Okay. And cos zero is one. So I can get b omega n. So I can write b is equal to x zero dot upon omega n. Now we have both the constants with us. This is b, and here it is a. So let's put this in our final equation. That is x is equal to a cos omega n t plus b sin omega n t. So our equation become x is equal to x zero cos omega n t plus x zero dot upon omega n that is the value of b sin omega n t. So this equation will give the response of a undamped free vibration. So this equation will give the response of undamped free vibration. Okay. So, but what we can get from this equation? We have to plot this function. Okay. If I try to plot this function, this is displacement. Okay, it is giving us the response means what it will showing displacement velocity and acceleration. I will plot the function. Okay. Suppose this is uh, time t. And this is the displacement x. Okay. So if I try to plot this function it will be something like this. Here my drawing is not uniform but I will tell you. Uh, this cycle will go on because our case is undamped. As there is no damping, our object will go on vibrating. It will not come to original position. Okay, it is not actually happening in reality, but uh, this case help us to understand many different concepts, complex concepts. That's why we do study this. Okay, so this will go on. Now here, very, very important few terms. First one, to complete one cycle, that is from this position to this position, it will require some time Okay, that we called it as a Tn. I'll just scroll it. Okay, we will call it as a Tn. That is time period. And that time period is in second. Okay, so time period means what? Time required to complete one cycle. To complete one cycle. That is your time period. Now what is omega n? There is a relation between Tn is equal to 2 pi upon omega n. So what is omega n? So omega n is natural circular frequency. Okay. So as I told you, I, I am going uh, that I will tell you this at the end. That is the omega n natural circular frequency and the unit is radian per second okay so there is another term uh, will be used that is f that is nothing but natural cyclic frequency 
ओके हियर द यूनिट इज हर्ड्स और साइकल पर सेकेंड सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एफ हियर द मीनिंग ऑफ एफ इज हाउ मेनी साइकल्स विल बी कंप्लीटेड पर सेकेंड ओके सो टी एन मीन्स टाइम रिक्वायर टू कंप्लीट वन साइकल वेर एफ मीन्स नंबर ऑफ साइकल्स कंप्लीटेड इन वन सेकेंड ओके दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टी एन एंड एफ एन सॉरी एफ एंड ओमेगा एन इज द नेचुरल सर्क्यूलर फ्रिक्वेंसी यूनिट इज रेडियन पर सेकेंड सो इफ यू सी द डिफरेंस ओके देर इज डिफरेंस देर आर यूनिट डिफरेंसेस and there is a relation f is equal to 1 upon tn okay now you can correlate all these three they are uh, interconnected with each other okay so f is equal to 1 upon tn so uh, this is for uh, or we can say uh, next concept that means Uh, the problems on this particular concept we will study in our next lecture if you have any doubt related to this concept you can ask me also i am going to discuss in detail that uh, response sheet or this response graph okay in the next lecture okay so thanks for watching the video please like share subscribe the real civil youtube channel thank you thank you so much